Hey neighbors, how y'all doing out there? It's Missy, and this is my Pick Me Up Monday. Today, I want to talk about a little something that happened to me. <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it. No, I don't. Because it happens to everybody. Everybody that take a shower and wash their face. So, a day or so ago, I was in the shower and I was washing my face. And some soap got in my eye. And I know that has probably happened to you. If it happened to you, raise your hand. Go ahead and testify. <laughs> Go ahead and testify, honey. If you was either washing your hair or washing your face. Or doing something, but somehow or another, some chemicals got in your sensitive eyes. And, oh my goodness, when that soap got in my eye, y'all, it was burning. Like, I could feel the shockwaves all through my body. Like, my eye was burning. Y'all, please forgive the kids outside playing. Kids will be kids, and that's what kids do is play. So, um, the soap got in my eye, and I was like, ah, it was stinging, it was stinging. And, like, when something's in your eye, your eye lids automatically close really tight. But to get the soap out, I had to open my eye, and it was so hard, and I had to force my eye open to splash the water in my eye to rinse the soap suds that got in my eye. And in the midst of this whole scenario happening, a message came to me. <laughs> and that's just how it is with me. I get my messages from the most mundane things that happened to me in life. And this is what I got. Basically, in life, you're going to go through some painful things. And if you want to be free from the pain, if you want to get that pain out of your life, you must wash it out. And how else can you wash something out unless you open it? Open wide so it may be flushed out. The only way I could get that soap out of my eye is if I force myself to do what I know I needed to do so I could feel better. But my eye itself wanted to stay closed. <laughs> Because it was in pain, but I knew that the more my eyelid stayed closed with the soap behind the eyelid, it was going to continuously burn like crazy. So I had to force open my eye to wash it out with the water to wash the soap out so it could stop burning. And I was thinking about how many times have I walked through life with hurts and pains deep within and I never told anybody. And I just carried that hurt and pain and allowed that pain to make me become bitter and hard hearted. It hardened my heart. When Once you get hurt, and you don't release that pain or quickly forgive that person or or some sometimes pain is just so hard to deal with that you put it deep deep in the the back files of your mind and you don't want to think about it because every time you think about it you experience it and it hurts again and it bring up all the old memories but I want you to know all that mess is junk that needs to be cleaned out. There's no way you can heal with all mess down within you. So I'm begging you today, whoever may hear this, 
that have been hurt, abused, talked about, ridiculed, just tore down whatever has happened to you and nobody else might know only you might know and that thing has been eating up at you as if you was a cookie and it was the cookie the cookie monster and you have to let that wound open up because the thing is things happen to us and we close off and we keep it on the inside and we try not to think about it or worry about it and but it comes with you every day of your life like that issue is with you you might not talk about it you might not acknowledge it but it's still there and by me being a nurse the thing is when you have a wound and you do not treat it, you do not care for it, you do not clean it, it's going to become infected. And it's going to hurt and it's going to be painful. And the longer you let it sit in its infection, it can harm you really bad and some infections even kill kill if you do not take care of them now that's a physical infection physical cut or wound or whatever but at the same time i'm switching it over into the spiritual realm as well things that have happened to you in the spirit or in your soul in your emotions somebody said something to you and it became a root of bitterness and you never forgiven that person because you never thought that person could be so cruel to you and that became a wound in your soul and instead of you talking to God about it or talking to somebody that you could trust about that situation so you can get it off of your heart and you can deal with it in the proper way you just let that that root of bitterness sit there and it have grown and grown and grown and yes it was painful yes it took a toll on you but instead of you taking the time to walk yourself through your healing in that situation you just covered a dirty wound up with a bandage and didn't take the time to clean it and now it has become infected and it's painful it's hurting and it's it's sore and as you go through life and you meet people new people you don't even know it's hard for you to believe what they say. It's hard for you to trust them. It's hard for you to let people in because that wound is still there, infected, because all you did was cover it up. So 2018, for us to become better, we have to be willing to open that eye and wash it out. We have to be willing to go through the pain of removing that band-aid off of that infected wound, that hurt emotion, the pain from the past, the things that we have been through in life and accumulated in a bag, our baggage that we carry around that affects our decision making our opportunities, our, our life choices, everything we go through affects us in some type of way. And if you are carrying around baggage, negative baggage, that's weighing you down, is really stopping you from having the momentum you need to go quickly, directly, 
into the future that's waiting for you. And what I want you to do is to unpack all that infection, all that mess, all that nasty, bad, hurtful, painful stuff. So you must open up. So you must come to the realization that if you have a emotional wound, a spiritual wound, a physical wound that you need to hold on y'all sorry about that I was receiving a call you need to be willing to let go of what you have so you can be able to receive what's coming to you if your hands and heart is filled with mess from the past how will you be able to grasp and hold on to the beautiful things that's coming towards you from from your future so when that soap was in my eye I want it. I, I didn't want to cry, but it was hurting. Like, you know, when you go through pain and it just hurt. And I didn't want to open my eye. But I had to, to be able to get the soap out so it could feel better. If I just would have kept my eye closed tight, that soap would have still been in there and it still would have been hurting like crazy so what is it that's in your mind about yourself or about somebody else or what has happened to you what has somebody done to you in your past to where you have not forgiven them and how you see that person and how you see everybody else has changed because of that incident. I'm asking you in love to remove that band-aid that you put on that wound that you did not clean. So we may be able to wash out and clean that infection and take care of you so you may heal properly so you may go into your future with no setbacks and no holdups and no strongholds and nothing that has reins on you that can continue to pull you and torment you and hurt you and damage you again It's going to be painful to open up something that has been closed. But are you willing to go through the pain so one day soon it may not hurt again? You have to be willing to put in the work. And yes, within the work, there may be pain, sweat, and tears. That goes with the work of healing yourself, fixing yourself, doing the work to improve yourself. But it's well worth the hurt and the pain to fix it. Instead of you just keeping that issue in that problem and letting it destroy you in the long run. I don't know everything. All I know is what I have been through and what I have experienced. And I know there's nothing new under the sun. So I know that the things that I have been through, I'm not alone. I know somebody else have been through something horrible in their life, just like I have. And at this point, I'm not talking about the soap and the eye anymore. I'm talking about something a whole lot worse but 
I have had some very, very hard times in my life. And I have been the type of person to put a smile on my face and go into the world and act like nothing was wrong. Knowing good and well that I had issues down within me that I was not willing to face. And I could not live the rest of my life like that. And the Lord had to show me that He loved me and He cared for me and He was willing to help me do the work. And He will help you do the work as well if you go to Him and ask. Just say, Lord, I need your help. I've been damaged. I've been hurt. I've been wounded. I need you to fix me. I need you to repair what has been broken. If he created you one time, he can create you again. He can make you a new creature. He can make you a better new version of yourself if you allow him to. So, I'm here talking to you and I don't have any soap in my eye. <laughs> I'm not burning like crazy anymore. <laughs> I'm not in pain anymore because even though it was excruciating, and I didn't want to open my eye to wash it out. I did what I had to do. I've been through a lot of painful, hurtful things in my life. But for me to get all the wonderful things that God has in store for me in my future, I had to be willing to allow Him to teach me how to let the hurt and the pain, the abuse and everything I went through, go so I can live a life more abundant. Because it's hard for you to truly enjoy life carrying a whole bunch of mess around. Because no matter how good the day may be, you always realize you have these heavy bags you're carrying around with nothing but mess. And who wants to do that? I know I don't. And hopefully you don't as well. So do the work today. Take an inventory of, of your mind, of your heart, of your soul. Make a list, if there's any, of any alts or any issues or any problems you may have with anybody. Or maybe issues that you have with yourself. Maybe you have low self-image. Maybe you have negative self-talk about yourself. I don't know what it is. Only you know what it is. But I'm saying that your future and your life will definitely be better. If you take off the band-aid and be willing to clean out that infected wound that you may have within so you may be a healthier and better you. I hope you will do that today so the rest of this year can be like no year ever before. I know you can do it. I believe you can do it. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Know that. Believe that. Walk in that. You are loved. You are cared for. So you don't have to go around bitter 
hurt, sad, having low self-esteem, a low demeanor of yourself. Let's just wash it out. Let's just take care of it. Let's just clean it out and heal from the inside out. So you can be that new, healthier, happier, joyful, joy, joyful person with peace like never before. So you can go out into this world and get everything that's there waiting for you. Sometimes there's opportunities. There's very important choices you need to make, life choices. There are certain people in your life that you want and you need to stay in your life. But sometimes the, the wounds and the hurt and the pain stop us from loving those we need to love the most. How we should. Because once you have given of yourself, you've given all you could give. And you feel as though that wasn't given back in return. It can hurt you. And it can make you not want to be the best you can be anymore. Because you never feel as though you are... Um, you're giving back what you, you give out. Compensated. Yeah, that's it. You're never compensated for the things that you do. But just know that you are seen and you are loved by God. And whatever this world has taken from you, whatever someone has done, you can be healed from it. And you will also be blessed by the mess you have had to go through. Because God will give you beauty for those ashes. So, that's what was on my heart today. That's the message I got out of washing my face and getting soap in my eye. <laughs> Hopefully, it blessed you in some kind of way. Thank you so much for stopping by my corner. <laughs> You're welcome any day, anytime. And I'll see you next time. Bye.